In football, Banyana Banyana go on camp next week ahead of their friendly international against the Netherlands. The encounter will serve as preparation for the African Women's Cup of Nations to be hosted by Morocco in July this year. Joining us via Zoom to discuss the squad and the upcoming friendly with the Dutch is coach Desiree Ellis. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, it must be a relief to be able to host this match given that it was postponed in July last year. Uh, good afternoon, Cloney, and welcome to the viewers. Um, yes, it's very exciting. Um, uh, we looked forward to playing them last year, and it's almost full circle now we get to play them. Um, uh, we play them in the Netherlands, uh, so we come to camp on Tuesday. So really looking forward to, to the game. Um, as you said, part of preparations. It's important that we get top quality opposition to get us ready for the African Women's Cup of Nations. Right, you've chosen uh, 22 players, uh, a mix of international based and also some uh, local based players. Right, just talk to us through some of the selection decisions you had to make. Okay, so we, we because it's one game, um, we decided to go with two goalkeepers um, with uh, Angelia and Kaylin. Um, we also have Lebohangra Malepi from Dynamo Minx, um, Karabu from Oakland in the US, uh, Koketso from Chuan University of Technology, um, Janine Van Veit of JVW, Tisetsa Makobela and Bambanani Mbani of Mamelodi Sundowns, and Okomotlo of Isde Aiba in Spain. So that uh, is the defenders. Um, then you have the midfielders, um, Mamela Makabani of JVW, um, Nomvula Haole from Pakusal City um, in, uh, in, in Spain, Linda Mutlalo from Joe Garden in Sweden, uh, Gabriela Salgado from JVW, um, Mutolo Tesane from University of the Western Cape, uh, Thalia Smith of Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, Colosa Biana of Sporting Hion in um, Spain, Robin Moodley of JVW, uh, Sibuledo Weni from University of Western Cape, and then you have the strikers, Tembi Hatlana, Atletico Madrid. Um, finally, we get to get uh, C. Jermaine C. of Senwe from SC Braga in Portugal, um, Melinda Radietti from Mamelodi Sundowns, and Ntab saying much here from Richmond ladies and uh, unfortunately a few which has picked up an injury um, she hasn't played for the last two weeks um, Hilda Mahaya um, is in South Korea uh, she played her uh, first game today I was glad to see that she get 30 minutes and the challenge there is uh, having to go back and having to go in quarantine again and we wanted her to settle down so that's uh, basically the makeup of the squad Okay, Coach, just my final question. Um, your qualifiers you played against Mozambique and Algeria. Just how much of a difference will it make to play against much stronger opposition in fifth-ranked Netherlands? I think it's very important. You know, we've tested ourselves over the last six, seven months, played at the Aisha Buhari Cup, um, you know, one of it um, with top quality opposition. And as you said, the qualifiers. And now a lot of these players who, who played over the last two years, except for the overseas based players, now get an opportunity to test themselves at a higher level. Also, for us to see what we still need to work on. Um, you know, uh, we're a little bit further ahead uh, than what we were in, in, in February when there was two weeks of preseason. Now it's six weeks. Um, a lot of teams have played matches as well, even though our league hasn't started. So it's really uh, going to see whether the players can step up that level without having played any league matches, whether they can be mentally um, tuned in and, and, and execute the plan. Great. Well, thank you so much, uh, Coach. That was Banyana Banyana Coach Desiree Ellis, just ahead of that friendly international against the Netherlands to be played on the 12th of April in the Netherlands.